Recently, we confessed the video game habits we just can't kick. I am going to spend the whole time twirling the camera around and jamming it in people's faces like a cinematographer with a hyperactivity disorder. Then we asked you to tell us what you can't help doing in video games to make us feel better about our compulsion to stack guard corpses like Jenga blocks. I still think they look better that way. Anyway, you told us what your quirky, charming, homicidal game-playing foibles are and how. Here they are, the things you really can't resist doing in games. There's nothing worse than being caught short of ammo. Everyone wants to avoid rounding a corner to find a bunch of enemies and realizing you're going to spend the first third of this gunfight loading bullets while they play Connect Four on your torso. Unfortunately, that usually means reloading every chance you get, even if you've only fired off one bullet. Yes, this magazine contains another 31 bullets, but what if that's not enough? Commenter JD Star knows my pain. He says his habit is, fire a single bullet? Well, I guess I better reload. I might need a full clip for the next guy I see. I usually get killed during this unneeded reload. Because in the interest of time, I'm not gonna stand still while I'm reloading like some kind of nerd, which is how this ends up happening. According to plenty of comments, there's only so long you can go in an open world game before dropping everything to go on a game-wide rampage of destruction. As commenter Rakushin7 says, you forgot saving your game to go and commit mass genocide. So yes, maybe your character is struggling with their criminal past or an undercover cop or just trying to make the best out of a bad start in life, but at some point they will go and shoot up a crowd of pedestrians for a laugh. That's what saving's for, right? Grand Theft Auto V understands this, which is why it included rampages for Trevor so you can let off steam and get rewarded for it instead of being shot by the police. You know us so well, Rockstar. They were right! Hipsters are dead! You can never be too prepared, which is why so many of you choose to steal absolutely everything that isn't nailed down and then hang on to it for as long as possible, such as commenter BuzzyX3 who says, For me, it's grabbing every single item I can find and storing them in chests never to be seen again. <laughs> Lol, looking at you Skyrim, Fallout and Dragon Age. What possible use could I have for all this junk? Doesn't matter, I will carry it around one weight point away from being over encumbered until I remember to stuff it in a chest or a locker somewhere. What if there's a really hard boss later on who can only be killed by me throwing 32 rusty cans at him? Then who's gonna look crazy? Now, commenter Elliot Pearson suggests, you forgot walking into a fire to see if it'll be realistic and burn you or not. All right, video game, you've put together a pretty impressive game world here. Realistic weather, day-night cycle, but now for the real test. If I walk into this fire, am I going to catch fire and die? Ow. Ah, what the hell, video game? I thought we were friends. Oh yeah, I'm bringing sexy back. While we're at it, another quick check we can't resist doing in games is checking mirrors to see whether we've got a reflection or not. Damn, I'm looking good. If we don't, we're very disappointed. Unless we're playing as a vampire, in which case, carry on. And we're reminded of that one by commenter at Mr. Gary Z, who wrote in, Mirrors. I always have to look at mirrors. Let's show them what Atlas can do. The KVA have been terrorizing this region for far too long. It's time to send them a message. Doesn't matter what kind of game you're playing, at some point you will have to follow an NPC, and that NPC will walk as slowly as a geriatric slot with a hangover. Thankfully, we all know the surefire way to speed these guys up, impatiently circle strafing around them the entire way. Commenter Ernest Lau says he's always walking around NPCs when you need to follow them and they walk too slow. Okay, it doesn't help at all, but it feels like it does, which is the important thing.
Now, I can't say this is something I do on a regular basis, but apparently some of you commenters are just crazy for a good old-fashioned victory crouch. Commenter the Megabob says his habit is teabagging all the enemies and bosses if possible. Sure, bosses, regular enemies, NPCs who are just trying to sleep. Why else would they have given us a crouch button? For crouching! <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Any gamer worth their salt knows that if it looks like a game wants you to go in a certain direction, you go in the exact opposite direction because that's where the secrets are. Red Cape Diver knows their habit is always looking under the stairs. Nowhere are the secrets more reliably found than under the stairs. Get to the bottom of a flight of stairs, see a door in front of you. Yeah, nice try developers, hand over the loot. Alright, what do we have here? Commenter Joseph Mann says his gaming habit is shooting red barrels? Not sure I get this one. Shoot red barrels? Why? What would that do? They explode. Red barrels? Really? Yes! I don't think that can be right. Alright, you, you made your point. Those were your video game habits you just can't quit. Do you do any of the above? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss anything from outside Xbox. Thanks for watching.